Hello there, so in today's video I've got a list of 29 highly rated, high yield dividend stocks that Wall Street analysts thinks have the potential to grow over the coming 12 months. That was a bit of a tongue twister right there. If you're new to this channel, welcome, my name's Andy and on this channel I like to talk about money and success. If you're interested in making, saving or investing money, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell and then you get notified every time I release a new video. And if you enjoy this content and find it useful, please do remember to give it a thumbs up because that helps you through algorithm which in turn helps me and I really do appreciate it. Before I get started, I need to let you know I am not a financial advisor, so this is not financial advice. This is just a starting point list. You need to do your own research for investing in any stocks or shares. I'm not making any recommendations for you. With that said, let me go through what was required for inclusion on this list. So for inclusion on this list, stocks must have a bullish or better quant rating. That's seeking alphas quant rating, and I'll go through exactly what that is a little bit later. Have a bullish or better seeking Seeking Alpha's author rating, have a bullish or better Wall Street analyst's rating, and have a dividend yield of 4% or higher. So Seeking Alpha's quant rating. I'll give you a link to this page in the description down below so you can go to this page and read it all in detail. But as you can see, the Seeking Alpha's quant rating stats, if you like, their stocks that they pick have outperformed the S&P 500. That's the gist they're getting across there. And if you just look at that little section at the bottom there where it says seeking alphas quant ratings are derived by measuring a stock's financial metrics against other stocks in the sector on the basis of value, growth, profitability, momentum, and analyst earnings revisions. The metrics are assigned factor grades that are then weighted to maximize the predictive value. Stocks with the best ratings are awarded very bullish recommendations. And this list I've got here, I've basically filtered it so that I've only included the ones that have the bullish recommendations on a quant rating, bullish recommendations for Wall Street analysts, and bullish from the Seeking Alpha authors as well. So. And they also must have 4% dividend yield or higher, as I said on that earlier slide there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run through the list in reverse order, starting at the lowest quant rating through to the highest quant rating. Uh, the dividend yields literally range from 4% upwards. So you've got, I think there's a 9% one on there as well. I'll very briefly tell you what each stock does. But don't worry, if you're just interested in the list of stocks, I will put a link in the description down below to a, a breakdown of each one so you can click to any given stock and that will also have the ticker symbols for each stock as well so if you are interested in that that will be in the description down below but check that out but if you are just going to click away now and do that please remember to give me a thumbs up first at least i deserve that right for the list um, otherwise i'm going to run through this list really quickly i'm not going to give you much details on each stock i'm just going to quickly go through each stock run through the ratings really quickly for you you'll have to pause the video if you're interested in anything in particular um, this will let you see what you would see if you had a, a premium Seeking Alpha account, which I do. So if you don't have that account, obviously you wouldn't have access to this kind of data anyway. If you do have that account, you'll have access to this data anyway. But you're obviously paying for that. If you don't, this video will be of immense interest to you, I am sure. So let's have a little look. So as you can see, the very first stock on the list there is Realty Income Corporation, a ticker symbol O. It's got a quant rating of 3.75. This is out of a quant rating of five. You can see there what the Seeking Alpha author's rating is, as well as the Wall Street author's rating is. And then you can also see other metrics on the right-hand side there. So you can see the dividend yield is 4%. You can see the value, they say it's B minus, growth potential, A plus, profitability, B plus, momentum, C minus, and earnings per share, revenue, B minus. Now, if you want to know more about Realty Income Corporation, I actually made a video about that just last week. I'll put a link up there and in the description down below so you can check that out if you are interested in watching that video and finding out my opinion and my deeper intake analysis on Realty Income Corporation. Because like I say, literally just last week I did that. So the next on the list is SPTN, Spartan Nash Company. This is a food distributor. It's got a slightly higher dividend yield at 4.14%. Value, it's very undervalued according to them. They're very bullish on it. You'll see they've given it an A plus growth potential there is B minus profitability D plus momentum C earnings per share revenue C plus and as I say this is a food distribution company next on the list is CTRE care trust REIT quite clear what that is that is a REIT you can see all of its quant ratings there you can see it gives a 4.53 percent dividend yield value there is A minus growth B plus profitability A momentum D plus and earnings 
per share B. Next on the list there is CIO, that one's an office REIT. And again, you can see the quant ratings there are all bullish. You can see the dividend yield 4.52%, the value A minus, the growth C, profitability B plus, momentum A minus, earnings per share B minus. Next on the list, NNN, National Retail Properties. Again, another REIT. Obviously, you've got a bullish quant rating there. 4.38% dividend yield. Value is a B. Growth is a B. Profitability, A minus. Momentum, C plus. Earnings per share, B plus. Next one, Kimball Royalty Partners, KRP is the ticker symbol. Look at that dividend yield, 8.82%. That's a stonker. The value there is an A minus. The growth is C plus profitability D plus, momentum A, earnings per share B minus. So next on the list is CMRE, customer. Customer is a marine industrials company. It pays a 4.09% dividend yield. As you can see there, the value is very bullish. Uh, an A, growth is an A minus, profitability D plus, so that's the, the worry if you like. Momentum is an A and earnings per share is a C plus. Next on the list there is a VC Properties, V-I-C-I. As the name implies, that's a specialized REIT. You've got a dividend yield of 4.74%. Profitability is an A minus. The growth is an A plus, so they're very bullish on the growth side of things. Profitability is an A plus, so it was a value that was an A minus. Momentum is a C minus, and earnings per share is C plus. Next on the list is BRY, Berry Corporation. Berry Corporation is an oil and gas exploration and production company. Their dividend yield, as you can see there, is 4.56%. Their value is B minus, their growth is C, their profitability is A minus, their momentum is C, and their earnings per share revenue is A minus. Next on the list there is RG. R, Strum Ruger and Company. So Strum Ruger and Company is a leisure products company. Their dividend yield is 4.93%, so almost 5% dividend yield there. Value is B+, plus. growth is C+, plus. profitability is A, momentum is B, and the earnings per share A-. minus. Next on the list there is PM, Philip Morris International. That's actually a tobacco company, so a little bit like Mo, but with a lower dividend yield. You can see there, they're very bullish on them, on the quant rating there at 4.52. You've got a dividend yield of 4.84%. Value is B+, plus. growth is C, profitability is A+, plus. momentum is B+, plus. and earnings per share is a B. Next on the list, BHP Group, ticker symbol BHP, dividend yield of 5.25%. The quant rating you'll notice is dark green, meaning it's very bullish at 4.61. The value is A+, plus. the growth is C-, minus. the profitability is A+, plus. the momentum is B, and the earnings per share is B-. minus. BHP, they are a diversified metals mining company. SPH, this is a gas utilities company, Superb and Propane Partners, so it'll be an LP. You can see, again, the quant rating is very bullish. It's an 8.24% dividend yield, so a very high dividend yield. The value there is A, so they think that's undervalued. The growth is B+, plus. the profitability is B+, plus. the momentum is C+, plus. and the earnings per share is A+. Plus. Next on the list there is HIW, Highwood Properties. As the name implies, it's a REIT. This one's actually an office REIT. Even more bullish on the quant rating now at 4.62, and they're just gonna get better and better quant ratings from now on in. Your dividend yield is 4.24%, the value is B-, minus. the growth is B-, minus. profitability A-, minus. momentum C, and the earnings per share A+. Plus. Next on the list there is GGB, Gerda SA, and that is a materials company specializing in steel. Again, very bullish on the quant rating, 7.07% dividend yield, that is a high dividend yield there. Value is A-, minus. growth A-, minus. profitability is B, momentum is B+, plus. earnings per share is another B. Next on the list there is Eon GY, and Eon is a utilities company, their quant rating is 4.7. As you can see there, the Wall Street analysts are extremely bullish there, giving it the maximum score of five. You've got a dividend yield of 4.65%. Value is A. Growth is B+. Plus. Profitability is A+. Plus. Momentum is B-. Minus, and the earnings per share is an A. Next on the list there is HESM or HES Midstream LP oil and storage transportation company. Look at their dividend yield there, massive 8.07%. Value is an A, growth is a B, profitability is a B plus, momentum is a B, and the earnings per share is A plus. 
Next on the list there is CNQ, which is Canadian Natural Resources. And they are again another oil and gas exploration company. And these happen to be a dividend aristocrat which if you're interested in learning more about dividend aristocrats, I actually made a video about dividend kings, listing all of the dividend kings. If you're interested in that, I'll put a link up there and in the description down below, you can check that out and see all of the dividend kings that are available to invest in. Back to the list then. So next on the list is OMF, one main holdings, 4.77% dividend yield, value is an A, growth is a B plus, profitability B plus, momentum B, earnings per share, C plus. Next on the list, a very popular dividend stock, CVX Chevron. That is a oil and gas company. Sorry, I should have mentioned OMF. They are a consumer finance company. So, sorry, CVX Chevron. Everybody knows what Chevron is, oil and gas. Dividend yield, 5.26%. Value C, growth C minus, profitability A plus, momentum C minus, and earnings per share B. Next on the list there is SID, S-I-D, I can't even say the name of that company, Compania, <laughs> SID, no, I'm not even gonna try. Anyway, it's a steel company, that's what they do, they make steel, okay? Their dividend yield is 4.51%, value is an A, growth is an A, profitability is an A+, plus. momentum is an A, EPS is an A+, plus. Seeking Alpha really loves this one. Okay, next one, BGFV, Big Five Sporting Goods. You can guess what they do. They're a specialty store. I'm going to guess they're sporting goods. The quant rating, as you can see, 4.92 is almost perfect. Dividend yield is 4.35%. Value is an A+. Plus. Growth is an A+. Plus. Profitability is an A-. minus. Momentum is an A+. Plus. And the earnings per share is a B. Next one on the list there, Royal Dutch Shell, RDSA. Obviously, it's an oil and gas company. Everyone knows what they do. Dividend yield there is 4.64%. Value is a C plus. Growth is an A. Profitability is A plus. Momentum is C plus. And the earnings per share revenue is an A. Next on the list there is AXA HY, as in AXA, that is the insurance company AXA. Obviously you've got an amazing quant rating and look at that dividend yield. I think this is the highest on the list at 9.18%. You've got value A plus, growth A minus, profitability A plus, Momentum B minus, earnings per share A minus. Next on the list there is Royal Dutch again. So we've got Royal Dutch Shell have managed to make the list twice. There's the A shares and the B shares. And these ones actually pay a slightly higher dividend yield at 4.74%. Their value is C plus, growth A, profitability A plus, momentum B minus, and earnings per share revenue B plus. Next on the list, BP, as in British Petroleum, again, oil and gas company. Quant rating is almost perfect at 4.95. Dividend yield is 5.13%. You've got value as A minus, growth as A, profitability A plus, momentum is C, and earnings per share is B plus. So now for the final three on the list. So in third place is Vale, that's Vale SA. This is a steel company. It actually supplies steel to Tesla. It's got a massive dividend yield of 8.33%. Its value is A+, plus. its growth is C+, plus. its profitability is A+, plus. its momentum is A-, minus, and its earnings per share revenue is a B. Next on the list is TX. This is another steel company, Terranium. Their dividend yield is 4.06%. Their value is A+, plus. their growth is A-, minus. their profitability is A-, minus. their momentum is A+, plus. and their earnings per share is B+. Plus. And in first place is PTR, PetroChina Company Limited. This is an oil and gas company. As you can see, they've got an almost perfect quant rating of 4.98. Their dividend yield is a massive 6.33%. Their value is A+, plus. their growth is A+, plus. their profitability is A+, plus. their momentum is A-, minus. and their earnings per share is A+. Plus. That is the end of the list. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos. I'd be happy to make such things. This is a relatively quick and easy video for me to make. So if you are interested in seeing more lists like this, let me know. And if there's any specific things you'd like filtered for, let me know as well. I'd be interested in that. Likewise, if you'd like to see a different type of video, let me know that in the comments as well. I'd be grateful to get your feedback on that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and bye-bye.